Okay. Let's see who you can play as now. Uh, I haven't shown off Crunch for a while. Did I mention in the previous video? I don't really like what they did with his voice in this, and yeah, it kind of makes me feel a bit like, oh. Didn't really get what I liked about Crunch across with the new voice acting, but like, also his face is very like. He looks more like a douche now. <laughs> like, I don't know. Nasty ride. Yeah, let's not use nasty ride. Oh, that's a nice shade of green. Just... Yeah, I might as well take advantage of all the bullshit. Should I use the green wheels? The dumbass wooden wheels that are part of the set? Nah, let's use the dumbass green wheels. No, maybe these. No, maybe these. Let's just waste everyone's time with pointless customization. <laughs> Ah oh, man, this game. Oh. Like, it makes sense if you're playing it online. But, like, otherwise, it's just like, oh, look, computer, I've unlocked so much cosmetic shit. <laughs> like,. I remember saying to people when I had the PS3 re-release of CTR, I was like, if someone could just make a modded version of Crash Team Racing, the PS1 version, and make it like, I don't know, like, 8 player, like, 16 player if you want to go crazy, like, well, 8 player, let's make it 8 player because it's normally 8. Uh, and just online, I, I would like that because I just love this game. It's got such nostalgia for me. And then like they made this and I was like, oh, well, I, I guess that's basically what I wanted, but like with the HD upgrade and extra bullshit. But like, <clears throat> if you just said to me, hey man, there's a guy online who's just like modded the version of CTR that came out in PS1. Uh, and you can just play that online with all your mates, I would just be like, oh yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That would be fun, you know? This is, uh, one of the, you can tell this is a Nitro Kart map because it's uninspired. <laughs> Did you get it? It's jungle with the trees. We're, we're trying not to do Papu's Pyramid, but we're, we're doing jungle with the, 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 the temple and the jungle. Yeah, it feels like off-brand Crash Bandicoot. Whatever. <laughs> like a mess. This shortcut is so easy to take that it's just like, take it every time, and then I will always win. Fuck you, I'm just gonna be that asshole. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's, how, let's see how far ahead I am. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, the first three or four have gone across, so I guess that's good enough. Got Ritteru here. Man, I like Ritteru. <laughs> Did people complain about Ritteru's mouth positioning? Looking, making him look really weird so much that they had to make the, the change, or did they just make the change on their own? Like, was that what the problem was? Because the only thing between the two versions of Rillaru is one of them, the face, the mouth is lower down. That's the only way I can work out how they're different and like slight facial differences. 
I mean, will the Rillaru stands mad? Will he sitting there going, oh my god, you've ruined my favorite Crash Bandicoot character. Because he was just in Crash Bash Man. <laughs> I don't mind this one, but it's again. Hey guys, it's Ruse Tubes. <laughs> hey, how's my sauce taste? Jeez, did you have to be so slutty, Crunch? I don't want to. I don't want to touch your exhaust. <laughs> Nitro Kart was suffering from an identity crisis, and uh, people don't even talk about tag team racing. Like, the characters are in this now, and I was like, who? <laughs> Why? That's a weird pinstripe skin, I've never seen that one before. No, don't kill me. Oh, I'm failing this one. Glad those welling death blades made me just spin around a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> take because the map is too fucking generic and bumpy so I'm just like I'm just like I guess I went past it again I mean they didn't even put all of the tracks from Crash Nitro Kart across like they only took a few which I think is a little strange like Geary's a lot of the ones from Geary's World didn't make it across, I think. But, like, don't quote me on that, because I think the last time I played Fresh Nitro Kart was, like, 2005 or 2006. Maybe 7 or whatever. <laughs> like, <clears throat> when did that game come out? It couldn't have been as late as 2006, there's no way. I went to my first concert in 2006. I can't see those two events overlapping. Oh yeah, I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers live, then went back and played Crash Nitro Kart. Like, it just doesn't feel realistic. It's on the PS2, wasn't it? Hmm. Damn it, Dinga Dial. Yeah, this game needs more tracks, but like at the same time, I get it. Like, you, they put a load of bonus tracks in, and you're like, okay, you, you did the, your due diligence there. They did way more than I thought that they were gonna do. To be honest, I thought they were just gonna put a bunch of things in, and then we're just like, okay. But they they scraped that barrel with the characters, so I was just like. I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised they, uh, didn't put more tracks in, but tracks are much harder to make than, like, cosmetics and characters, right? Because that's a very small thing. Tracks are very big, so it's like, you're gonna have to do a lot more work for that, so I get it. Yeah. Man, when they brought Mega Mix into it, I was literally like, what the fuck is Mega Mix? I can't even remember where Mega Mix comes from. That was, that was good. Ah, oh, out of time. I like this track, but again, it's just like, wow. The HD version does a lot more stuff with particle effects, but otherwise it's just like, it's just a desert track again. <clears throat> You're sure taking your sweet time. Yeah. 
don't want to touch the slow blue mushrooms. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I will put the TNT here. No. No. Yeah. Gotta put it in a, the most trolly position possible. That's what everyone told me who used to play this game. The classic game with me is like just put everything in a really shit place to put it. Like some of my friends would literally break a crate, a weapons crate, and put a like potion on the spawn point of the weapons crate so you couldn't see it. I don't know if you can even do that in this version of the game. <laughs> like really shitty things like that where like you could see little bits of pixels of the green nitro crate sticking out from just behind <laughs> the like you know, shit like that and you were like, oh that's just such a trolley fucking thing to do. It's like, well they're gonna go there and like on the narrowest parts of the track where everyone has to bottleneck through. I will just fill this with drops. <laughs> like this area here. Because you know the AI and other people are going to be forced into hitting it at some point. Did he hit my own man? <laughs> But now the next person who goes for that box either has to hit a Nitro or a Red Potion, so... <laughs> Just dick moves like that all the way through. <laughs> I went through the windmill, bitches. Oh, man. Yeah, there's just quite a lot of tracks in the Crash Bandicoot verse of uh, kart races where it's just, hey man, we're in a desert. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, okay, I guess. You know, this is making me feel like maybe medium is too easy and I can do hard. I've done hard before in the past. So, I mean... Maybe I can do hard. We can try hard maybe later. It's gonna punch. What does that mean? Now that's what I'm How can a potion punch? Crunch, answer me! <laughs> None of your quotes make any sense. I'm sure there's fanfic above Crunch sneaking up behind you and saying, better watch your six. Ha 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 ha. And you being like, uh, uh, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Weekend bonus. Oh, it's giving away while well. no, I was playing this now. Oh. Like, Crunch feels like the most furry of the cast. Him and, like, all of the, like, cheerleader podium bandicoot girls. They feel like the most, like, o overtly sexualized for no reason, where it's just like, why are they like... Why are they like this? It doesn't make any sense. People wonder why furries are such a big thing now. It's like, we grew up with... Well, I'm not a furry. <laughs> I should specify that. The generation that, like, is now mostly, like, associated with furries grew up with shit like this. And it's like, uh, you know, why, why are, like, you know, and there's like loads of other examples in cartoons and shit, where you're like, why is the, the animal girl, why is Lola Bunny gotta look hot? Like, I don't get it. Why is Jessica Rabbit gotta be dressed like a, 
like that. Why? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. No, don't kill me. Don't talk about furries again. Never talk about furries on me. You know the irony is the best performing videos on my uh I shouldn't be dicks to furries because the best performing videos on my channel are Biker Mice from Mars and this. <laughs> so um yeah, I mean if that's your thing, don't <laughs> I've never heard him say that before. Weird. It's like when you hear your Chucky doll hit say a new phrase and you're like, you're not programmed to say that phrase. Then Crunch looks straight at you and it's like, I'm real, and you're like, nah! <laughs> don't kill, don't! Crunch, Crunch pulls his way out of the TV screen. You found, you realized I broke character. I will come for you now like the girl from the ring. Oh good, that'll put him in his place. Don't kill me, Crunch. Please don't kill me. You know why I used to like Crunch when he was introduced? It was because he wore, like, khaki pants. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Khaki pants are cool. And I like the shade of, like shade of dark red he is because it's like a little darker color than um, Crash. I think that's like cooler. It's like a slightly like... I like the shade of dark red. I think it's a pretty cool shade of dark red. And then that was literally the entire reason behind it. Oh uh, yeah, I like the color scheme I guess. And I was like, oh cool, he's not like Crash, he's like strong, so that might make him fun to play as in a game. You know, he'll have a different moveset, that will be pretty cool. And then you never got to play as Crunch in pretty much anything. <laughs> even in the new Crash Bandicoot game they released just recently, Crunch isn't even in the, <laughs> in the fucking game. Dingadile's in the game and playable, but Crunch isn't. Wow, they just fucking hate Crunch. Is Crunch the knuckles of the Crash Bandicoot franchise? If not, who is the knuckles of the Crash Bandicoot franchise? Because I'm going to go ahead and guess Coco is essentially the Tails. Wow, that's so on point, holy shit. <laughs> she likes computers. She's quite clever. She's Her design revolves around like having like quite a long blonde tail slash ponytail design. I mean, that's pushing it a little bit, but you know what I mean, she's basically- oh my god, she's basically tails. Oh, I've seen too far into this now. Does that mean Fate Crash is Shadow? <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Can't stay on the track. Oh my god. Making false equivalencies is hilarious. I guess that means Torna must be Amy Hedgehog, but they couldn't be different. More different. I love that throughout the, the franchise it's never explained. Like, like at first it was like, Torna is Crash's girlfriend. And that, that's basically it, and you, you go save her because it's a girlfriend. And they're like basically trying to do the Princess Peach thing, but it's like a little more like, yeah, no, like, oh, I got past it. A little more like, oh, yeah, but like, they're, they're like dating. And then she disappears from the canon and it's never explained for the next few games. So, like, like, she doesn't even have a canon personality, like, Torna doesn't, she doesn't do anything, she just stands around and is there to be saved, and then she's kicked out of the game for being too sexual and too much like Pamela Anderson. Fun fact I mentioned before, she was literally kicked out of the game because they were scared Pamela Anderson would sue. 
It's <laughs> weird, man. The 90s were a weird place. Very weird place. Very weird place. What I remember of the 90s is Pepsi, The Lighthouse Family, Bewitch, Spice Girls, really weird kids TV, and Crash Bandicoot. Here he is flexing for you. This is the perfect man. You might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs>